This is a Dremel rotary tool, guys, and this is what I use for sharpening my chainsaws. Um, a lot of people talk, ask about it. Uh, a lot of people give off about it, <laughs> but I just realised there when when it, when I was, was sharpening up one of my saws, I just realised that I only ever show sharpening videos, chainsaw sharpening videos that are dealing with a big issue like a nail hitting a nail or 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 the one that what they did there recently about uh, 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 uh why i sharpen my own chains okay so guys what i have here on the bench is i have i have igor the, the 435 the husqvarna 435 he has a 16 inch bar it is a lovely little chain so i have taken off the chain brake guys and i'm just going to show you what it's like to sharpen a normal chain that just has had a little bit of use doesn't need doesn't need a lot it's just a little touch up okay and i'm going to sharpen it from start to finish with the dremel with the the stylus you call this and with the grinding stone the diamond grinding stone that i buy on ebay guys okay stay tuned okay so people will say that you come from this side then skip one and come from this side and then turn your saw around and do the other ones okay i have i did that at the start i'm finding it makes no difference all right so i always mark my first one even though i don't really need to what i have on most chains guys you're going to have a little line that is going to tell you what angle you need to put your stone at and i just follow that line and what i do is i do a little in the gullet one two three like that and then i turn and i follow the angle okay i'm going to do it all starting right now okay the whole chain here we go no speed up or nothing And that is done. Guys, that took me two minutes. My neighbor is out walking his dog, and Bruno loves those dogs, but he just loves barking even more. Guys, that took me two minutes, I think. I look back on it, but I'm nearly sure it's two minutes. And that is pretty much as long as that takes, okay? Now, when you buy the Dremel, it does come with a little angle guide and stuff like that, guys. And I did use that at the start, but when you have the angle guide, you cannot use the stylus. It only fits on to the, to the main head of your Dremel here guys and uh, i have to say i have used this system for at least four years guys one of my most popular videos on wally's world 
It's got like 75,000 views or something like that. And it is probably my first ever use of this Dremel chainsaw sharpening thing. And it's a shockingly bad video. It's really bad. It's just, but uh, it, you know, but it's out there and I will leave it out there. Guys, okay, so I just thought I would, you know, show you how you do it on a saw, on a no, on a saw that has seen normal use, okay? Normal use for me. It's very rarely that I'll go into steel or anything like that. Saying that, I'm about to go out with the saw and I'll bet you I'll put it into like 50 pieces of steel. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.